super interested in. There's a lot of things happening with Edge. Yeah. Um, and then there's also production identity day, um, stuff around Spiffy and Spire, the economics of zero trust. I know there's two great speakers there, uh, Frederick Kautz um, from Sharecare and Ed Warnicke from Cisco, two great people in the networking space. I'm sure that one would have been a great one to- Incredible, like mainstays of our, our like, space. Yeah, open source ecosystem. Yeah. You think about Intoto, you think about Spire, <laughs> Spiffy. I mean, you know, you, these are mainstays. And also again, I gotta give a big shout out to Cole Kennedy, um, really great resource out there. He does a lot of government stuff. He was with a company called Boxboat. I think he has got a, a new company called Test the F I, I, I'm sorry if I got that wrong, buddy. But um, there's a lot of cool stuff going on uh, in that space. Identity, if you think about, like I said, Spiffy and Spire, if you think about those are like, it's the atomic unit now for identity. and guess what? Those are CNCF projects. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And so pop, how's my hair look, Bill? How's my I mean, hair look? Can, can we, can we have a little, little peek? No, 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 no not nope. today. All right. Not today. So you, you got to catch him on the show floor and you got to ask pop how his hair is. If you really, really want to, you know, just poke him a little bit, ask him how uh, the pineapple pizza here is in LA. You know, <laughs> I can't do an interview. Without it. <laughs> I can't do one. It's a problem. Whatever your first stick is on the internet, you know, it sticks with you forever. forever. Yeah. He's going to retire with this one. Yeah. They're going to bring that kind of pizza to his, to his retirement party. Big time. <laughs> Bill, let me ask you a question. Let me play the part of the interviewer. I'm sorry. So in terms of how many, how many uh, cube cons is this for you? Oof. Let me... Uh, I was actually chatting with Caitlin today. Uh, she's one of my coworkers at CNCF, and she's on her 11th cube con. Uh, I had, let's see if I can count them up. Copenhagen, uh, Seattle, Barcelona, San Diego, and then the two virtual ones, and then this one. So I guess I'm on seven myself here. So yeah, I guess quite a few. <laughs> I think, you know, like I big shout out yet again to the events team, because every, oh, yeah. every single time they just knock it out of the park. Um, you know, and and it's it's amazing. But like I said, going back to you know you, Bill, it's how do you think this is different now? You know, obviously, like making with all the changes that are happening and the you know pandemic and stuff like that. How do you think? How is this affecting you differently than other other um, KubeCons? Yeah, so I think like the coolest thing about this KubeCon is it's our first hybrid KubeCon. Um, in the past, we only had in-person, then we had only virtual ones, and now we have a mixture of both. So I think we can really get the benefits of both of them together into one single event. Um, as we heard earlier, it's awesome to run around the hallways and meet people in person, have those deep dive conversations, and you know, kind of like chat and catch up with the friends that you've met on the internet over the past, you know, 18 months or so, um, and then. The other massive benefit of having a virtual event is that we can massively increase the accessibility of the event. I know we have people calling in from all around the world. I think there's going to be probably about six times more people virtually than there are going to be in person. So, you know, that's a six time wider audience that we're reaching here at KubeCon CloudNativeCon. And so I think that's a massive benefit of having this hybrid event. And I think what this also does is breeds pe people thinking about like, and something that I know that's close to your heart, like the KCDs, the Kubernetes community days, they see that people are together, like even virtually or, you know, in person to a certain degree, um, they can do these things regionally, right? You can do this KCD in Berlin and Brazil and Japan and all over the world. So you can feel this experience if, even if you can't travel at this point, you know, lo uh, long distances. Um, again, the safety has been um, like amazing uh, in terms of you know the, the safety uh, aspects of of here. So you know, I feel safe. A lot of the folks here obviously feel safe. Um, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. And another thing I'd like to mention is I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Feynman and the whole team at KCD China. They're going to have the first in-person KCD this Saturday right after uh, KubeCon ends in Beijing. Um, so ni ha, super ni hao ma. That. She, uh, she, she, to, uh, Fame, is it Feynman? Yeah. Feynman and, and the KCD crew. Awesome. Yeah. Super excited about the event that they're going to be having there too. Um, so if you don't have enough content after this whole week, uh, you can check out their stuff too. Incredible. Is, is that Bridget? Yeah. Oh, wow. We have, uh, Hey Bridget, what are you up to? You want to come and be on a live stream with us? Would you like to join us? Just to say hello. Just, just this quick hello. Yeah, that's all we, we have. Just, just a quick interview. Okay, we'll just have a quick wave for for all of the folks that are watching on Cloud Native TV right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, we're live. You, yeah. Yeah. No, no, you can come up. Yeah. Come on. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Hi, folks. <laughs> are we doing this? Are we doing this? Sure. Cool. Yeah. Bridget, Hi. come out. TV. Very excited. Thank you. Thank you so much for like this. Yeah. Right, this was oh. all planned. <laughs> yeah. This was planned. Um, so I think uh, since your camera is oh, here. Yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to have a seat. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'll just do this and I'll say, hey, um, I was scouting because you know how if you're planning to work at your sponsor booth and then also live tweet keynotes and you kind of have to scout and see how far is the walk actually. <laughs> Spoiler alert, there is a walk. There's a bunch. So, there you go. And, and Bridget, you're with Microsoft. I am. I am. Um, I'm with Microsoft. And I think one of the exciting things about KubeCon, Cloud Native Con, is it's sort of the gathering of the tribes, like all of the people from all of the different vendors and whatnot just get together. And it's so great because you can hang out with people from the SIGs that you work with. Oh, I, I'm good. I'm good. Sure he will take that. I, I, I'm good. I'm, go I'm not going to take you. I'm not going to take your spot. You can hang out with people from the SIGs that you, uh... all right, do this just to make the camera work easier. You can <laughs> hang out with people from the SIGs um, and have a lot of those, you know, or the tags or whatever, and have a lot of those meetings that are sometimes just a lot of people in a Zoom. It's nice to do in person. Yeah, absolutely. So wh what did you attend today or who did you meet uh, and chat I with? I attended Delta Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> I was on United. <laughs> yeah, here, come, come back. Uh oh. Come back. Sorry to put you oh no, it's fine. It's spot, just, I don't want to like, I don't want to crash the live stream. No, no, you're not crashing. You're a, a valuable member of the community. Yeah. Um, honestly, like, this is a really good point, which is there were things today, and so you should probably uh, talk about the things that were today, since I attended the very exciting Delta Airlines flight from Minneapolis to LAX, which is not um, relevant to most people's interests. So, so we'll, we'll maybe have you back later this week. How about that? I hope so. That would be yeah. fantastic. All right. Perfect. Take care. Yeah. Nice to see you. Uh -huh. Always Thank a pleasure. You. All right. Bye. See you. See that? that? That's what I love about the spontaneity that is Cloud Native TV daily recaps. You never know who's going to be on the show. Bridget, one of like the mainstays of our community. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Yeah. We have a great sh slate of show hosts coming to you every single day. At the end of the day, we'll be wrapping up what happened today. You hear a little bit about uh, what's going on. Um, Sorry, Bill. I'm not being rude. I'm just seeing where, um, if when Duffy's done, you can jump up here. So, yeah. yeah. It's no worries. So, Pop, like, what else are you excited about um, this week? I know I saw a lot of stuff on Twitter last night of you hanging out with all the people that you usually hang out with in New York, but now on the other coast. But you know, what else are you excited for? Or what talks are you going to see? Um, I'm excited for a lot of things. I think, um, you know, I'm obviously excited about stuff that um, that's going on with Cloud Native TV. I'm ha you know happy with like Tag Security Day tomorrow is going to yeah. be fantastic. Um, really excited again. That's another event that uh, I'm a co-chair with uh, Andres Vega and uh, shout out to Emily Fox. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm so like it saddens me. She they, they, she was in an accident. And she can't be here with us, but she's here in heart and spirit. We're gonna give her a shout out tomorrow in the beginning and in the end and stuff. But um, it was such a vital vital member, co-chair now is gonna be a co-chair of KubeCon as well. Emily Fox, phenomenal. But this week, like I said, I look forward to. So last night we went to dinner together. I was able to see a bunch of people. We just all grabbed burritos and enchiladas and fajitas. And you know who you are. <laughs> um, we had a good time, but. I don't know. It's maybe it's the Italian in me. I enjoy having like having a meal, a soft drink, with my friends, and and uh, I enjoy that. But like I said, it's it's always good to be around the people in our space to talk about what's Absolutely. going on, face to face, not just on a Zoom. Yeah, I mean, this is what I'm so excited for is seeing these people. Um, I've met Pop once before, but you know, it's, we had tacos. See, we, there's a, is there a trend here? <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to get, catch him again while we're here. Uh, Bill, you know, I'm, I'm busy that day. I'm washing my hair. <laughs> just, just kidding. See what he puts me through? It's been the last nine months. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do, should we wrap it up? Where are we at? How many minutes do we have? I don't know. We're at, like, uh, almost half an hour in, I guess. Any questions from uh, folks? Yeah. Any questions from the chat? Um, otherwise, yeah, I think we can probably... 
call her a wrap for today. Well, this was day one recap. Uh, tomorrow, who do we have? We have the amazing Chris Short. Yeah. Chris Short is on. Just re left Red Hat. Or this is last week at Red Hat, I think. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. So I don't know where he's going. I don't know if there's going to be some type of announcement or maybe post. Who knows? But um, yep. really, you know, Chris, velvet voice. You know, he's fantastic. He's going to be talking about the recaps for tomorrow. I think we're going to, the tag security team will be on to talk about what's going on from, from that and the other, some of the other events that are happening tomorrow. Um, yeah, uh, tune in, you all. Uh, hit that follow, please. It helps, helps us tremendously. Um, so we have a season two and all of that. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, live from KubeCon Cloud Native Con 2022, 2021. <laughs> in LA. <laughs> what year so are we in, Bill, Bill, what month is it? Uh, I believe we're you know, in January, everyone. We're, we're, we're in the future here at KubeCon. We, <laughs> we are the future, uh, as you just heard. And thank so. you all, by the way, for enjoying Steven's little conference over here, a.k.a. KubeCon. Yeah. So thanks, everyone. We're See out. Ya. Thank See you. See you tomorrow. Cloud same Native time, TV. same place. See ya.